how do you see the future of sustainable mobility and where does bosch stand in uh, in terms of tech innovations in sustainable mobility space and are there any new business models or new uh, opportunities which are emerging in this space do you foresee anything happening transformational breakthrough nature yeah for sure i think um, very clearly mobility we used to call earlier as automotive division and now we are called ourselves as mobility because we believe that finally it's about person moving from point a to point b and this can be accomplished in multiple ways uh, when it comes to vehicle movement obviously we are talking about making them more sustainable in terms of the vehicle itself and there we are talking about moving from the powertrains uh, where we have uh, the classical ic engines uh, towards more and more electric of course uh, finally it depends on the energy source depending on what type of energy source you are using it can be cleaner than what we are today but it's not necessarily mean that everybody everything has to move towards a battery electric vehicle which sounds like the most uh, i mean cho- okay. important choice but for example uh, brazil moves more into using uh, methanol because they know that a usage of flex fuel is good enough to improve and uh, because they grow sugar cane and they're able to do it at the same time if the electric vehicles even if you have but battery electric requires a lot of technology on the battery which is still developing and if the energy itself is uh, generated using coal it's uh, necessarily not green but uh, for sure when you have more renewable energy with more wind and solar it's clear that and once the grid is stabilized we can actually support more of battery electric but the path towards also could be via for example hydrogen it's clear that uh, it's possible to develop uh, i mean manufacture hydrogen using electrolyzer using the uh, i mean uh, renewable energy and this could be one of the cleanest gas that can be used in the ic engine itself uh, which can run which is called a hydrogen engine and next step would be for example the fuel cell Uh, Bosch is actually working on all these technologies because it depends finally on which country goes in which direction at the same time a good balance or mix the smaller vehicles obviously like two wheeler three wheeler would go faster into battery electric but the other larger vehicles would go into more and more electric over a longer time so currently Bosch is betting on almost all these technologies and we are uh, i mean observing which uh, region will go into what uh, the strategy to finally make it more sustainable and also ensuring that it's not only the passenger car vehicles but also commercial vehicles and other forms of uh, uh, mobility uh, that has to be optimized we also work on looking at how the cities uh, can be much uh, more uh, made mobile uh, in terms of movement of vehicles and we actually have some products to also look at the air quality in the city thereby suggesting how the vehicle movement can happen so that at the city level we can ensure that they are much more greener So there are multiple topics as Bosch we are working on and uh, when it comes beyond powertrain even other technologies like uh, ADAS for example makes the vehicles go much smoother when you have for example adaptive cruise control on the highways and they're following each other there is a definite uh, improvement uh, at least 10 to 15% fuel consumption improvement when it comes to commercial vehicles it makes big difference so we work on ADAS where you have such features running and this will be adopted more and more from highways into the city so with more and more levels higher levels of uh, automation so we are working on that as uh, we are currently at level 2 2.5 but we believe that it will go towards 3 very soon and in future towards level 4 and 5 which will be completely automated driving and uh, a combination of this along with connectivity where you have enough data about the quality of the road to also reduce fatalities on the road for example so this would make vehicles uh, i mean much more sustainable one from environment point of view and also from usage perspective to make them more comfortable with less fatalities on the road etc and each one of these technologies we do significant work out of india center for this and some innovations are specific to india we work with the oems here because we know the environmental conditions are different sure. uh, for example adas so initially when we tried out a global system Uh, with a cow on the road it identified as two people and obviously it thought there is a gap in between and you can drive through and that's not possible so we had to actually enhance the algorithm and there are many such cases where we had to develop india specific uh, systems and then deploy it and obviously these systems uh, then we were uh, offering it across the world and i think that's a long journey to go when you go towards complete automation i think level 4 and 5 will take much longer because uh, investments of the sensors and the amount of compute that is there also is quite high 
but uh, technology is there it's also more affordability as well as acceptance in the market which will define at the pace in which this will go into the market itself thank you for uh, those amazing insights uh, i never knew that fatality has an angle towards greener from the greener mobility side of things uh, jay uh, my question to you is that we have seen a lot of uh, spurt in the market in terms of new startups and businesses coming in in the space of sustainable mobility what do you think that how can entrepreneurs and businesses can actually capitalize on the growing demand for the sustainable mobility and uh, both from the tech point of view as also from the business standpoint see the interesting part is that uh, this is all about uh, i would say a large wave and opportunity that is available in the market right and certainly this market space uh, has can be captured by the entrepreneurs and uh, business innovators right and there are a lot of startups and not only that there are a lot of colleges universities and uh, hardware is involved in it uh, software is involved in it system integration and platform roles so it is an i would say that multi opportunity for everyone to capture this market space that is uh, available right so now it is all about that how do we make this entire system of capabilities that is available to come together and make the relevance in a much more uh, accelerated way right sustainable mobility solutions while every company has gone into the net zero by 2030 right that is uh, some of the bold statements that is being made and while we have a lot of time available also when i say a lot of time another 20 years available from an india context perspective but the main point is how do we accelerate and to do this acceleration there need to be proper programs and initiatives that is be created one is within the enterprise who are developing the solution as well as external ecosystem also how they can be made come together to drive this acceleration so one of the key aspect which i would like to highlight is that accelerator programs uh, within the uh, uh, enterprise as well as outside the enterprise how do we make it happen is one uh, area of the focus to be there the second one is uh, this is also needs a lot of um, organizational changes uh, uh, and the capability to come together right and for that we need to have a methodology and framework how can this entire capability can be uh, brought together so some of these changes when uh, as you also spoke about uh, the frictions that existed so how do we break those uh, Uh, frictions and and sometimes friction is good because it also challenges the status quo and it also uh, uh, drive uh, innovation as part of this uh, culture but this proper methodology and the frameworks uh, plays an uh, important role right and the third point is that uh, it is very important to understand that everybody also needs as part of the responsibility in sustainability also wanted to also make money here right and profit uh sense that but think value because that is the most important aspect in the uh, sustainable mobility solution at the same time uh, uh, what is that uh, financial outcome that we are going to uh, deliver so i can very confidently say here there is a huge market opportunity space that is available here and it is up to us to seize this particular market space that is available amazing the future looks green and bright